Welcome to the 2021 Cumberland College Virtual Graduation Ceremony. Cumberland College is situated in Treaty 4, 5, and 6 territories and upon the homeland of the Métis Nation of Saskatchewan, something that has very much influenced our college's history and development and will continue to be important for our collective future. My name is Bobby Gray, Vice President of Academics and your MC for today's event. On behalf of everyone here at Cumberland College, we would like to thank you for joining us and let you know how much we appreciate your understanding as we approach things differently this year. One thing that has not changed is how much you deserve this moment. You have worked hard and you have exceeded despite all the challenges that have been presented to you in your program of study and also in your life as a result of COVID-19. We encourage you to review our Class of 2021 graduation presentation material whenever you would like with whomever you wish. It is truly a timeless piece that we are living through a historical event. Graduates being acknowledged here today are all those students who have completed their program in the 2020-21 academic year. Following today's ceremony or at a time that works best for you and those you love, we encourage you to take a picture with members of your household, post it online, and tag Cumberland College in it. We would love to see your faces and cheer you on from here. During today's graduation, you will hear traditional graduation messages from the president of the college on behalf of the Cumberland College Board and congratulatory messages from our respective MLAs and college elder, followed by the honor song. Program chairs will bring greetings on behalf of your program areas with your instructors introducing you to honor all you have accomplished. Following closing remarks, Iron Swing will honor all graduates with the victory song, concluding the 2021 virtual graduation event. It is a moment to remember, and we are only too pleased to share this moment with you and acknowledge how far you have come. At this time in the program, I would like to introduce Cumberland College President and CEO, Dr. Mark Hoddenbaugh, bringing greetings on behalf of the College Board. Thank you, Ms. Gray. Hello students, families, friends, and all other enjoying this celebration. I'm pleased to bring greetings on behalf of our Board of Governors and staff, along with their congratulations on your significant accomplishment of completing your studies and graduating from your program. I'm honored to participate in this ceremony to recognize your achievements. In spite of a trying year dealing with the pandemic and to many a foreign way of learning in a largely online format, you excelled demonstrating resilience, dedication, discipline, and commitment. In addition to the knowledge gained in your program, these four character traits are an incredibly important component of your future success. Thank you for choosing to come to Cumberland College. Thank you for your persistence in completing your program. Thank you for your understanding and support as we navigated the tricky paths of a pandemic together. Thank you for participating in our efforts to introduce our blended learning model with its elements of face-to-face, -face, online, flexible, and experiential learning. As we continue to develop this model for future students, your engagement and feedback provided valuable data that will help us to continue to refine our model. For those of you moving on to employment, further studies, or other endeavors, I would like to wish you the best success and many blessings. May your time at Cumberland be remembered fondly and may the things you learned serve you well. For those returning in the near future, we look forward to continuing to encourage and support you as you further your education with us. I'm so proud of all of you for your great efforts and for attaining this incredible milestone. Best wishes for continued success and please come back to visit us. I now return the proceedings back to Ms. Gray. Thank you, President Haudenbaug. Please join me in welcoming Carrot River Valley MLA, Mr. Fred Bradshaw. On behalf of the Government of Saskatchewan and Premier Scott Moe, it is a pleasure to celebrate the graduates being recognized here today. This year, amidst this COVID-19 pandemic, students have faced challenges that they have never experienced before. I want to take time to congratulate all of you. You should be proud of your hard work, perseverance, 
and what you've been able to achieve during this time. As you transition to the post-pandemic world, I encourage each of you Build your career here right in Saskatchewan and take advantage of the graduate retention program in which you may qualify for $20,000 in income tax credits for staying in this province. Your contributions will help build the future of our province. I would like to take this opportunity to thank and commend Cumberland College for adjusting along with its students helping address the many challenges faced over the past year to best serve the students and communities. And to the graduates, these are the number one people here. I hope you take a moment to reflect and celebrate your accomplishments and take pride in your ability to adopt over the past year. Good luck and best in your future pursuits. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bradshaw. Elder Ethel Lee Kobe bringing greetings on behalf of the Cumberland College Elder and Resident Elders. Good afternoon, students and staff of Cumberland College. I am Ethel Lee Colby. I work between the three colleges being Melford, Nippon, and Tisdale. I would like to extend a warm welcome and congratulations to all of the graduates on behalf of Métis Nation Eastern Region 2. I would like to acknowledge two of our First Nation elders that are no longer with us. They have now moved on to a new journey. Evelyn Burns and Louise Smokaday were two very dedicated ladies who shared their experience and expertise with our students and staff. They are missed by everyone and I know they would be honored to share the special day with you. With that being said, I would like to extend my personal congratulations to each and every one of the graduates. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Marcy Elder Kobe. At this time in our program, please join me in welcoming Micah Daniels and the Iron Swing Drummers as they honor our graduates with the honor song.
Eco say, me gwitch, marci, merci, thank you, Iron Swing. Terry Thompson, Chair of Adult Basic Education and Essential Skills, will now join us in bringing greetings on behalf of the Adult Basic Ed and the Essential Skills programs. Welcome everyone. I have the honor today to present our Tisdale Adult Basic Education program. ABE is an opportunity for adults to come back to school, to complete their academic grade 12, or to upgrade the marks they obtained in high school. Returning to school is often a difficult transition, especially this year, as they dealt with academics and the changing landscape of school with our blended learning environment. Our students returned and worked hard to create new opportunities for themselves and futures for their families. I want to extend my personal congratulations to the ABE graduates today. It is important to recognize the support provided by our ABE staff and our funders. On behalf of Cumberland College and our graduates, I would like to thank our funding partner, the Ministry of Immigration and Career Training, as well as the many community funding partners for our students. Without their continued support, we would not be able to welcome these graduates today. Heartfelt thanks and appreciation is extended to the backbone of all of our programming, the ABE team. To our instructors and tutors, Mackenzie Clybor, Lori Constant, and Stacy Lutz, I want to join the graduates in thanking you for all the work you have done this year to create a positive and supportive classroom, both virtually and live, and facilitating their educational goals. Thanks must also be extended to a vital part of our ABE team, student advisors, Brandy Wicks and Tara Nelson. And I would be remiss if I did not also thank the team behind the scenes, Tim Verklin, our program coordinator, and Heidi Grote, our program assistant. It is a blessing to be able to work with such a dedicated and student-centered team. I am pleased to hand this over to Mackenzie Clybor, who will introduce Tisdale ABE graduates. Congratulations to all the graduates of Cumberland College in 2021. May you continue to dream, believe, achieve, and inspire. Hello, my name is Mackenzie Clybor. It's my privilege to introduce the Adult Basic Education graduating class of 2021. Chris Ehard. Chris plans to become a welder. His favorite memory is going on walks to Kinsman Park as a class. Sarah Gronvold. Sarah plans to continue her work and pursue post-secondary education. Her favorite quote is, Led Zeppelin didn't write songs everyone liked. They left that to the Bee Gees. Wayne Campbell from Wayne's World. Stephanie Harris. Stephanie plans to attend the Continuing Care Assistant Program at Cumberland College. Her advice to future students is never give up. Josie Lumberjack. Josie plans to attend a culinary arts program in the future. His advice to future students is never give up on chasing your dreams. Lakeisha Machiskinek. Congratulations on completing your grade 12. Jennifer Olson. Jennifer plans to get her social work degree. Her favorite memory is that time I didn't go into class because there was a pandemic. Oh wait, that was the whole year. Lisa Pache. Lisa plans to further her education in the future. Her favorite memory from her time at the college is the wonderful teachers. Ashley Reniski. Ashley plans to attend the nursing program at the U of S. Her favorite memory is beating poppies. Kevin Scott. Kevin plans on going into social work at the University of Regina. Kevin's favorite memory is catching up with homework on the side of the road and meeting his teachers. Tabitha Squirrel. Tabitha's future plans include an interest in home care, cosmetology, or carpentry, and she is currently deciding on her next steps. Tabitha's favorite memory from her time at the college is going for walks to the park. Congratulations to the graduates of the Tisdale Adult Basic Education Program. 
You deserve the absolute best as you go forward on your journey. It's now my pleasure to introduce Ashley Runiski, who will be giving the student address on behalf of the ABE graduates. Ashley is the definition of a determined student. She entered our program with clear goals and a vision for her future, and she has worked diligently every day to accomplish what she set out to achieve. This year was an all smooth sailing for Ashley. Like many other students, she has had to battle to overcome the obstacles that challenged her. Most of all, Ashley has a kind heart. This gentle kindness will not only serve her well as she embarks on the next part of her journey, but also uh, makes her an excellent candidate to represent her classmates by giving the student address. Good afternoon, grads, parents, teachers, staff, and friends. Going back to school can be scary, can be intimidating. I know it was for me, and COVID definitely didn't help us this year. It has been a challenge, not only for us, the students, but for the teachers as well. They were learning right along with us. But here we are, we all survived. So I want to thank the teachers and the tutors for not giving up on us, supporting us and helping us no matter what. And I want to thank the rest of the staff for putting up with us. I know it couldn't have been easy. And to my fellow graduates, I wish you happiness and success. May you always do what you love to do. Enjoy your day, you've earned it. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. Chair of Post-Secondary Education, Jeff Fisher, joins us in bringing greetings on behalf of the respective post-secondary education programs. Thank you, Bobby. Good afternoon, everyone. As Bobby mentioned, my name is Jeff Fisher, and I am the Chair of Post-Secondary Education at Cumberland College. I am extremely honoured to be here to represent the administrative staff, the support staff, the instructional staff, and most importantly, the students involved in post-secondary education programs at Cumberland College. The programs that fall under the portfolio of the PSE department include our trades, applied certificate, certificate, diploma, and degree programs. This year, we are proud to recognize students from the following post-secondary programs from our Tisdale campus. Business Diploma, Early Childhood Education Diploma, and Office Administration Certificate. At this time, I would like to acknowledge and thank the following Cumberland College Tisdale staff members who are involved in post-secondary education and who are instrumental in helping our students reach their academic goals this year. Instructional staff, Don Schumelis, Chris Little, Victoria Jurgens, Audrey McMillan, Brenda Ives, Candace Hayes Luchinsky, Celine Weisberg, Jen Zentner, Angela Guspaderic, and Aaron Munchau. Tutors, Stacy Lutz, Carissa Little, Chelsea Stonestand, and Michelle Ferlin Murphy. Advisor, Brandy Wicks, Instructional Designer, Kara Langell, Program Assistant, Marie Crozen, and Program Coordinators, Kim Cross, Rebecca Bryson, and Michelle Ferlin Murphy. I would also like to mention and recognize all of our university professors and instructors from both the University of Regina and University of Saskatchewan who are involved in our undergraduate degree programs. On behalf of those of us at Cumberland College, our appreciation and sincere thanks are also extended to our many partners and stakeholders who continue to support our various programs in so many different ways. To our provincial ministries, and agencies, our credit granting institutions, our co coalition partners from Parkland College, our numerous sponsoring agencies and employers, our many First Nation and municipal communities, our business and service group supporters, and to any other organization or individual who has supported Cumberland College or our students in any way over the past year during these challenging times, please know and understand that your contributions and ongoing support have certainly not gone unnoticed and are greatly appreciated. Most importantly, it gives me great pleasure to recognize and congratulate all of our students who make us all so proud for their successes and achievements, even in the face of many challenges and adversity. 
We are extremely humbled that you as students have chosen Cumberland College for your educational needs and we are pleased to celebrate your many accomplishments with you here today. Congratulations. I'm pleased to introduce the following staff members as they introduce our amazing students. Please join me in welcoming our lead instructor from our first ever Lakeland College Business Diploma Program, Dawn Schumelis, as she joins us to recognize her students. Hello, I'm Dawn Schumelis, and it's my pleasure to introduce the first graduating class of our new two-year Lakeland General Business Diploma Program, 2019 to 2021. Stephanie Anderson, career plan. I plan to continue on and complete my degree in accounting. Favorite quote, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Alana Cotterell, career plan, I will be entering the workforce. My favorite memory while in school at Cumberland College was building a business plan and presenting it to faculty and other members of the community. Adrian Crane, career plan to work. Advice for future students, don't give up even when times are tough and marks are low. Just do better on the next exam or assignment. Christine Dodds, career plan, start working at MNP and working towards my bachelor degree in accountancy. Favorite quote, this moment how joyful you are within yourself determines the quality of your life, said Guru. Ryland Freed, career plan, continue with my business and find work. Favorite quote, nothing is worth more than this day. Kennedy Karecki, I plan to continue my education and pursue a Bachelor of Commerce degree at Edwards School of Business, majoring in Human Resources. Advice for future students? Study hard and don't ever give up. Never doubt yourself. You can do anything you set your mind to. There are bad days and good days. Push through because the end result is so worth it. Cassandra Spur. My career plans after graduation are to continue my education with the transfer program to Edwards School of Business. For my last two years of my degree at Edwards School of Business, I would like to major in accounting. Favorite memory? The small classroom group discussions. Having family in my classmates. Because there were so few of us, we are all close. Most importantly, making new friends. Ethan Thomas, career plan. To further my education in the business field. Advice to future students. Build relationships with everyone. It's so important to have people on your side. It's also the most important element in business. Congratulations to all our business graduates. Thank you for choosing and trusting Cumberland College and for giving so much of yourself to create our family of business learners. Keep dreaming and keep reaching for your dreams because as we see here today, dreams really can come true. 
I would now like to introduce Kennedy Karecki, who will give the student address on behalf of graduates of post-secondary education programs. Kennedy was chosen for this honour primarily because of her commitment to helping other students be successful. She did this by providing ongoing feedback, by earning a YBEX scholarship for a future business student, and by donating a major project to the program. In addition, Ken has developed excellent presentation skills, which are both admired and respected by her classmates. Good afternoon, staff, parents, family, friends, and fellow grads. My name is Kennedy Karecki, and I have been given the honor of speaking on behalf of the graduating students at Cumberland College. Being part of Cumberland College has given me the opportunity to continue my education locally while living at home with the support of my family, keeping my part-time job, and thriving off the learning environment of a smaller classroom setting. This environment has allowed us to build great relationships with the instructors, classmates, and staff, and we are very thankful for their continuous support throughout our time together. This year has been exceptional as we transition to online learning, and in ch as challenging as it was, we all made it through. During our time at Cumberland College, we have discovered what we love to do, what we don't love to do, who we are, and who we want to be. This graduation has already shown us how capable we are of accomplishing our goals when we commit to them. I hope all of us here today can take this personal accomplishment as an example of how anything is truly possible when we put our minds to it. Life is happening for you, so thrive, prosper, follow your path and don't look back. Good luck to all my fellow grads and may your journey be the best one yet. Our Early Childhood Education Level 2 Diploma Instructor, Erin Munchau, will be acknowledging students from that program. Welcome, Erin. Um, hi, my name is Erin Munchau. I am the instructor for ECE Level 2 here at Cumberland, and I am very proud to introduce the Early Childhood Education Level 2 graduating class of 2021. Reva Bird, her career plan, uh, move forward and complete my diploma in early childhood education. This has been my long-term goal since I graduated high school in 2010. Her advice for future students, don't give up. I've been a full-time worker and a part-time student for the past three years, and many times I wanted to quit, but I had to motivate myself to not quit. Otherwise, I'd be letting myself down and saying goodbye to this certificate accomplishment. So keep on pushing yourself, no matter how hard the times may be, you got this. Lana Burton, I will, her career plans is I will continue working at Open Door, Open Door Play Care in Nipawin. My favorite memory will always, I will always remember meeting new teachers and people. Haley Dirksen, career plan, I just became an assistant director in, early, in an early childhood center. My plans are to continue to get my level three. Her favorite quote, accept what is, let go what was, and believe in what will be. Megan Fairbrother, her career plan is to continue working as an ECE in Hudson Bay. Favorite memory, laughing and telling stories in class. Sarah Jones, her career plan, my plan right now after graduation is to wait for level three enrollment and then hopefully take it. During the wait, I will work full time at the Melford daycare that I currently work at. I will get in more experience with hands-on at work. Uh, my favorite memory from class was the group of people I met by going. They were all amazing, kind ladies, including our instructor. I believe we all helped each other make class fun and enjoyable. Tina Lindsay, uh, her career plan is to continue to work at the Melford Cooperative Daycare, where I have been employed for almost five years. And advice for future students, she says, don't take things too seriously. Learn from the children you work with. Learn to be a kid again. Jessica McFarlane, her career plan. After I receive my certificate, I, pl I plan to continue working at the Hudson Bay Child Care Centre. 
favorite memory? My favorite memories are just all the moments in class getting to know each other. It was an amazing group of ladies to learn with. Charity Musa. Her career plan, after graduation, I'm going to continue working where I am, working right with the infants and toddlers in our center. Her favorite quotation, every child is di a different kind of flower and all together they make this world a beautiful garden. The author is unknown. Amy Peranto, her career plan is to continue my education in a related field. And her favorite quote, kid, you'll move mountains. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Dr. Seuss. Samantha Phipps. Her career plan, after graduation, I plan to continue to work full-time and take my level three ECE. Uh, her, my favorite memory at Cumberland College is the group of people I took my classes with and my teacher. They all helped me succeed and made everything we did fun. Valerie Standing. Her career plan is to continue to work full-time and her advice for future students, enjoy your classes, ask questions when you'll need more information. Beverly Watt, after graduation, I would like to continue with my education and earn my ECE diploma. My favorite memory would have to be when the pandemic hit and we got to have our very first Saturday PJ online class day. And Jessie Woods, her career plan is to use the education I have gained to advance to my advance my career. And her favorite memory, when we got to make art with random items. This group of students has shown great courage and tenacity in forging ahead through the last two years to complete their program. They are a strong, compassionate and creative group of students who will go on to do wonderful things in the world of early childhood education. Congratulations to all of you and to all of the graduates today. This year, Cumberland College was pleased to offer a joint office administration program with our coalition partners from Parkland College. This offering boasted shared programming and instructional staff in a unique cross-campus virtual environment that was the first of its kind for our coalition. One of our lead instructors for the Office Administration Certificate Program, Celine Weisberg, will now introduce our graduates from that program who come from both Parkland and Cumberland Colleges. Hello, I'm Celine Weisberg and I'm part of the instructional team for Office Administration Class of 2021. It is my honor to present this year's Cumberland and Parkland graduates. Clarissa Daniels. After graduation, Clarissa plans to further her education in the business world by taking business courses with SAS Polytech. Her advice to future students is, no matter how difficult things get, don't ever give up. Kyla Dela Cruz. She has no plans yet, but her favorite school memory was the first day of school because it's always full of new beginnings and newness. Nicole Grout. Nicole plans to go for her early childhood development and then open a daycare. Her advice to future students is to enjoy the time you have because it will go faster than you think. Kira Hainstock. After graduation, Kira will be working at the social services office in Nipawin for the summer. Then moving back to Weyburn to take some business classes along with working. Her favorite memory was creating friendships in the classroom, even though we weren't all together. Michaela Hudon. Michaela has no specific plans yet, but is looking forward to finding a job and seeing if she enjoys it or not. Her advice to future students would be to never lose sight of your dreams and goals, no matter what other people's opinions are. Ashley Lewis. Ashley is starting her career in the medical field. And her favorite quote is, work hard in silence, let your success be the noise. Kirsten Patton. 
Kirsten plans to move to her new home in BC with her fiance and start a new business. Her advice to future students is, despite this year being online, don't let that stop you from achieving your goals. Katrina Stone. Katrina will be returning to work for the SHA while applying for office administration jobs in the region. Her favorite quote is, life is like a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Chanel Adams. Chanel is wanting to reach her goal of working within the school division. Her favorite quote is, the future depends on what you do today. Michaela Chartier. After graduation, Michaela plans to continue working for SGI. Her advice to future students is, at some times you feel unmotivated, but remember you can always do anything you set your mind to. Brittany Chupa. Brittany plans to continue her career in healthcare and to pursue her nursing and social work goals. Her favorite school memory was the Facebook group chats and breakout rooms where she could get to know and appreciate her classmates. Cassandra De Groot. Cassandra is looking forward to going back to work and her favorite school memory is meeting all the amazing people. Rebecca DeLorem Houle. After graduation, Rebecca plans to move away from Yorkton and get a new job. Her favorite school memory is seeing everyone's pets and kids online. Nicole Fair. Nicole is hoping to find work in the health region. Her advice to future students is to take time to apply for scholarships. Wendy Kirik. Wendy is also hopeful to find a job within the health region or the provincial government. Wendy's favorite school memory is when people forget that their mics are on and you never know what you're going to hear. Reese Morisot. Reese's plans after graduation are to find a job that applies to her studies and to start looking for a home of her own. Her advice to future students is to be organized, set goals, and stay ahead of the work. Darian Danaka. Darian is hoping to find a job in the medical field. Laura Nielsen. Laura plans to spend time with her kids and find a career in office administration. Her favorite school memory is meeting all the amazing classmates and instructors, even if it was online. Roseanne Pachon. Roseanne plans to apply for a job with the federal government. Her advice to future students would be to develop good time management skills early on to help with your school course load. Emily Patterson. Emily would like to work for custom bookkeeping and accounting out of Regina when she is finished. Her advice to future students is to work hard, to try to get as much work done before the weekend as possible so you can take a break. Amy Wallacechuk. Amy plans to find a job and her favorite quote is, all we have to do is decide what we do with the time that is given to us. Madison Wojcesko. Madison plans to move to Alberta and become an elementary school secretary. Her advice to future students is not to ever hesitate to ask for help.
On behalf of Jen, Angela, Linda, and myself, I would like to say how proud we are of the drive, determination, and dedication it took to complete this course this year. We are looking forward to seeing and hearing what the future holds for you. Congratulations. This concludes the MC duties for today's event. Before Iron Swing closes with the victory song, we would like to acknowledge you once again for your impressive achievement as well as thank those who helped you achieve this goal today. We do not reach our goals alone and it is that spirit of togetherness, community and family that makes Cumberland College strong. We welcome you to thank those who have supported you throughout your educational journey on our behalf, whoever they may be. On behalf of all of us here at Cumberland College, we thank you all for joining us for the 2021 Cumberland College graduation, a celebration of your achievements with us. All the very best and hope to see you in person soon. Take care and be well, graduating class of 2021. We will never forget you and we hope that you never forget us. Please join me in welcoming back Micah Daniels and the Iron Swing Drummers to close today's virtual graduation event with the victory song. Ecose, mi guich, merci, merci, thank you. <laughs>